to my channel today i'm going to be filming a what i eat in a day video this version is actually in a calorie deficit so i will explain in a you know 30 seconds as to why this is in a calorie deficit when usually i'm you know not been dieting or anything like that i've got my glass of water usually i've got a cup of tea in these videos but today we've got a water but basically this video is going to be me showing you what i would eat in a typical day the last one that i filmed was not a, you know a typical day of me eating it was so, a pretty goddamn boring like i didn't really show anything um interesting or how to make anything or anything like that so i thought that i would make this video a little bit more interesting um so give the video a thumbs up if you like watching these videos because i will film more okay so i'm just gonna have a little quick explanation as to my current diet at the minute and then we will get into like the what i eat in a day but currently i am eating vegetarian foods that doesn't mean that i'm a vegetarian and i would never label myself as that i probably wouldn't label myself as anything anyway um in terms of diets because for me it's just trying my it's just what i want to eat do you know what i mean like i don't have to say like oh i really want to be vegetarian also i have to go all in and be vegetarian like i'm kind of switching over i want to have more like vegetarian meals and foods and have my food shop just be vegetarian things um which means like vegetables and also vegetarian burgers and like corn and stuff like that because i actually really love the taste of meat substitutes and vegetarian food so i thought to myself like why am i eating meat when i actually really love the taste of vegetarian food so i've made that switch now um also it is an animal thing it's you know when i was eating my food i would just look at it and i would like just think like this is a literally dead animal meat and it just like when you grow up and you're used to eating meat like you don't really think about it too much you just think of it as food but i started to think of it as not food so it just put me off a little bit especially when i'm cooking the meals and i have the raw meat and then i cook it like that's when i start to think about it a little bit more um but if i went to mcdonald's and i bought a cheeseburger i would not really think about the meat side of things at all um but yeah i just wanted to say that i've made that switch also here or there i may eat meat for example um, if I went to someone's house I would never expect somebody to cook something different for me I would be more than happy to have meat at their house if you eat meat and you hate vegetarians you're gonna be really annoyed by what I'm saying but everybody's got their own lifestyle choices and opinions and mine is just one of them and I'm not saying don't eat meat because I still will here or there like for example if I'm on a night out and we go to McDonald's afterwards like there is a high chance I may or may not get a cheeseburger unless they bring out some vegetarian food which i think they are thinking about bringing out a vegan burger so hopefully um and it would just make it so much better um like a, and a proper vegan burger i mean like meat substitute burger and second mate for this video i'm going to talk about calorie deficit so last year as you probably know on this channel if you've been watching me for a while i was in a calorie deficit on and off throughout last year and i lost a couple of stone basically and i'm really happy i just want to be fitter and healthier and i got to a point where i was happy so i decided to just go into maintenance calories which means the calories where i won't gain or lose weight so i stuck at those calories and i wasn't tracking at that point um because tracking calories can be quite like um a strain on you mentally in terms of like the time it takes to do it and also it makes you think about food in a different way but i am glad that i did calorie count in the first place because it does make you realize what is in foods that you didn't know about and how many calories you are roughly eating it's just like a scientific thing like um it just knowledge it's like oh now i know roughly how many i'm eating in a day um so i know where i've been going wrong or maybe i've been eating too little or maybe i've been eating too much do you know what i mean like it, it is nice to know um roughly how many you're eating in a day because you might be overeating excessively and think damn it that is where i'm going wrong i'm putting oil on everything or something like that or i'm having mayonnaise and everything um two very high calorie items so um that kind of thing like it just helps you to understand that and it means that when you then go to intuitive eating you won't you know indulge too much in like those kind of items you have that sort of background knowledge without having to physically count things so i maintained um my weight exactly the same for like three months even over christmas absolutely fine and then at the start of the year i was thinking to myself like oh should i 
jump on the bandwagon and like count again um, my calories and I was like no actually I'm not ready to count them again I'm happy with how I am I'm happy with you know what I'm eating right now I wasn't losing any weight I wasn't gaining any weight in the back of my head I knew that there is still a little bit of weight that I do want to lose like just a few pounds just to be a little bit fitter and you know it's just just to lose a little bit more fat and I knew that if I carried on intuitively eating like I was like that wasn't going to happen um, unless I was ill or something for a week um, but I decided that I was going to start tracking again and I have been for like the past week. I've set my calories. I don't know whether to say like what I've set my calories to because it varies for every person. So I don't. OK, I will say, but if you want to calculate your calories, you need to work out your TDEE. -E. So type that in TDEE -E into Google. That is your calories that you will maintain at. So that's your maintenance calories. If you subtract 500 from that value, that will give you like a reasonable deficit um, in terms of if you ate that amount of calories each day. Your TDEE -E calculation will take into account your age, your height, your current weight, your activity level. So everybody's different. Everybody's completely different. If your TDEE -E is low, it's because you might be quite short or you might have like a low activity level or something like that. So everyone's is different. But mine, um, my deficit calories that I've set myself at is 1,700. My TDEE -E is 2,100. So I'm in a deficit of 400 calories just because I don't need to be any lower because I exercise every day and also I'm not bothered about losing weight really quickly. Like I'll probably lose like less than a pound a week, which I'm completely fine with that. Um, I'd be very happy with that. Um, Somebody is live now, um, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> don't know why that came up on my phone. I don't know that person. Um, and um, yeah, so I just wanted to sit down and just have a chat with you and explain that because some of you might just be wondering. Um, but yeah, so I have set my calories to 1,700. Some days I go over a little bit, some days I go under a little bit. Um, but if, as long as I'm roughly there, then it's okay. And also it just help you to just kind of stick to that number so I might what I might do is I don't want to make this video too long because it is a what I eat in a day but if I might do like an updated video on like how I managed to lose weight in terms of working out calories and exercise like what I exercise with and what my calories are and how to calculate that and everything like that and tips and tricks and things um but it's not that deep it's just a few pounds that i'm gonna lose um and it's in a safe healthy way there's no issue with losing weight if it's healthy and if it's safe and if it you know if you're not massively in a deficit so without further ado because i feel like i have been rambling let's get on with the video hi um here we are again back in the same place um i've not moved one bit since the last clip breakfast time what did i have for breakfast a good question well today this morning i had my coffee which i normally have i literally get the coffee put it in my cup add some milk pop it in the microwave well i had 50 mils of milk pop it in the microwave 30 seconds take it out and then pour my um kettle like not the kettle itself pour the water into the coffee give it a mix around that's my coffee done i don't have sugar anything like that i never have done in my teas or coffees apart from when i was really little so i had a coffee in the morning and then i also had this morning because i wanted to make it a little bit more interesting for this video i had pancakes i made some pancakes tried to make them as kind of like low calorie without actually substituting anything when it comes to health and fitness people are always making these kind of like pancakey banana things like i hate the taste of banana flavored things so i don't really like banana pancakes like i can just about eat them but i don't really like them um so i just make normal pancakes i think what i did is i took one egg two tablespoons of flour and also some milk mixed it all together i didn't sieve the flour which in hindsight i should have done actually i used self-raising flour just to help them rise a bit because i didn't put as much flour in which kind of kept the calories a little bit lower oh yeah by the way i added in some oil to the pan and the first pancake it did stick to the pan which is annoying but it's because um it didn't have enough flour in it but 
do I care? No. Um, then I made the second pancake, which came out much better, um, which I liked. And then for the pancakes, like topping, I added on some frozen berries, but they weren't frozen. I got, well, like, they were originally frozen. I got them out of the freezer, popped them in a glass, and well, I popped them in a mug, put them in the microwave for about two minutes. They came out nice and warm, tipped it over my pancakes, and then I did add some golden syrup on top as well, and um, like as another topping, um, just to make it sweeter, otherwise it would like have no flavour. Um, so that was my breakfast, and it was only, like the whole breakfast, including my coffee, was only just over 200 calories, um, because I, I calculated all the ingredients and everything like that because they was like pretty much weighed out um and yeah so that was a decent breakfast so that's what i had for breakfast then i don't snack in the morning but i've got my drink this is actually water and it contains lemon juice in it as well just a little bit of lemon juice then for lunch today i am having because i haven't actually filmed the clip yet but i'm pretty sure i know what i'm having um i'm gonna have soup i'm gonna have a quarter uh, no a third of a tub is it a tub a third of a tub of this i think it's carrot and coriander soup i'll show the label anyway on screen just in case it's not um these are from lidl they're so good like they're really cheap it's literally less than a pound and the calories in these are really low i had the tomato and basil one like previously and that was so nice and it was only like 60 calories for a third of the um thingy which is amazing um as a lunch and it means that you can eat more of other things throughout the day um um, I like to keep my lunches quite low calorie because if I eat too much in the day it makes me really tired and have no energy which is funny um, so I tend to eat a little bit more at, like in the evening times or at breakfast um, so I had some of that just a third of that and then I added on a slice of bread on the side with a little bit of butter and just just to you know add to the meal then I may have a little pudding I'm not sure I always like to have something sweet, but I don't think I've got anything sweet. I've got cupcakes, but I wouldn't have an entire cupcake. I'd have one of them later. Maybe I won't have anything. If I don't have anything, then I won't show you a clip. But if I do have something, I will video it and show it on the screen now. I've got Rocky bars. So if I fancy a Rocky bar, I might have one of those. That's pretty much the only thing that I've actually got. <gasps> I've got popcorn. I could have popcorn. I don't know why I was so shocked about that. Um, but yeah, so could have popcorn but i'll show you on the screen now so you can see um popcorn is amazing by the way um low calorie um not the toffee popcorn just normal like sweet popcorn or sweet sour popcorn nice and low calorie and um like a little snack if you're feeling peckish in the evening or something go and get some of pop some popcorn it's nice and cheap and it's low calorie now it's the afternoon i try not to have snacks in the afternoon because you know, I just want to have my meals as meals. I kind of have to myself like a no snack rule unless I am really hungry because the kind of snacks that I would eat just aren't filling anyway and they're just like wasting calories in general. Like crisps I don't tend to buy because they're just, there's no like substance to them and like they're enjoyable but not really that much. Like, I don't know, I just don't buy them. So I just have a no snacking rule in my own head to be fair because um, if I'm gonna have a snack, I will have like a pear and maybe a little bit of peanut butter on the side or maybe some Biscoff. Pear and Biscoff taste so good, I had some in the cupboard. Um, so if I have a snack, that's the only thing that I'll have but I don't think I will today. But I will have a cup of tea. I think I'll just sit, do a lecture or whatever and have a cup of tea or something. So yeah, today I won't have a snack. Um, then for my evening meal tonight, usually I'll make something with loads of vegetables, super healthy, maybe pasta or something like that. But today is not a treat day, but today is what I class as like a pamper day where I will do a, like a sheet mask in the evening. I will finish everything that I want to get done in the day really early so that I can like have a complete relaxed evening, take off my makeup, everything like that, have a shower early, everything, um, wash up early. And basically I will do a sheet mask on my skin and i will also use one of those like nose strips that i like and then i will have like a nice meal or something like that like usually a pizza so i bought a frozen pizza from lidl and to me that is a treat so what i do is i got like a margarita pizza just a yeah i think it's like 800 calories for the whole thing which isn't so bad if the rest of the day has been quite low in calorie um, and i add my own toppings to it so i will add like mushrooms or peppers or onion olives i don't think i've got any mushrooms so i think what i'm gonna do tonight is i'm gonna add some onions 
onto it quite a lot of onions also i have olives that i can add onto it um can i add courgette like i've got courgettes so <laughs> i might try adding some courgettes who knows um and i think that's probably it for tonight to be fair um and then i will just cook that in the oven for however long it stays get it out the oven and i don't like to cook it too long i don't like it to be crispy i like it to be like just nicely done but not crispy um and i will eat that that's what i will have if i leave any i'll just have it tomorrow um but that's what i'll have and i would just sit and watch a film or watch an episode of superstore on netflix or something like that and i will eat that and usually if i've got alcohol in i will take the opportunity to have an alcoholic beverage but i don't at the minute i'm i'm not fussed about alcohol in general anyway um so i think i'm just gonna have like a little glass of lemonade or something and it is diet lemonade and then once i've had that I think the only thing that I'm gonna eat left over tonight is probably one of my cupcakes that I made I calculated the calories of one of these cupcakes and I think it's the, just over 300 calories like 325 calories um, I made four I made eight cupcakes four of them had biscoff in the middle and the other four had chocolate orange spread in the middle of them I will maybe film a video making them at some point and they've got like normal cake sponge the filling in the middle and then it's also got ganache on top and then little sprinkles so yeah i calculated the calories of each one of them and then i do also tend to have a final cup of tea in the evening or a hot chocolate but hot chocolate is about 160 calories so that will take me over so i don't think i'm gonna have one of those today but i have had quite a lot of those so i probably shouldn't and also i'm running low on milk so i think i'll just have a cup of tea and just chill for the evening and then if i do get hungry before bed i will probably just get some of my popcorn because it's like low calorie or a pear or something like that um so if i did eat anything else i will share it on the screen now and um, but yeah that's like a full day of eating um with a semi kind of like treat i had pancakes breakfast soup and bread for lunch and then a nice pizza in the evening with a cupcake so not a bad day um but yeah every day is different like i said some days are like super super healthy with loads of vegetables and then some days are just absolute random stuff like in my last what eating a day and then a day like today is still tracked but a really nice day um so yeah also i thought i should mention i do exercise as well but i'm not featuring that in this video i think i might do a whole video where i talk about my workout routine um but it's hard to do that because i do literally just follow videos on youtube um so let me know if you want to see that but yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you enjoyed the layout i just literally sat down here chatted my way through and inserted overlay clips because i just couldn't be bothered to vlog today i just wanted to sit down here like with you know semi nice makeup on and just and just not have to film for the rest of the day um so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i will see you in my next one bye